How many homeschool hours do you need to do in a day? Can you just do two hours a day? These are the questions many new home educators ask. They want to know if they can provide a quality education in such a short time period. And this is a pertinent question because a lot of schools out there take about five hours to educate their students. And if people have gone to school themselves, they tend to think, well, surely you'll have to do more hours than that to get a quality education. But I'm going to be arguing that you can actually teach all the academic book work you'll need in about two to three hours in a homeschooling situation. In addition, we'll crowdsource some answers and see what other homeschooling parents are doing. Hi, my name is Rebecca Devitt from How Do I Homeschool? Today we're going to be talking about how many homeschool hours you need to do. Before we get started, if you're on YouTube, click the subscribe button because I'm going to continue releasing more quality videos like this to help you understand homeschooling, methods, curriculum a little bit better. Before we jump in, you probably don't know that I was homeschooled, so what was my experience like? My experience was that my parents gave me workbooks and they would let us sit down and do these workbooks. So they didn't sit us down for a number of hours per se, but they gave us the workbooks and they said, you can finish this page and this page and they gave us our set amount of work that we'd need to do and they said, after you finish this, you can then go and play or you can do your entrepreneurial venture or whatever it is. And so instead of thinking about homeschool hours, we were thinking in terms of what work are we going to do for the day. And this was quite motivating because it meant we didn't just need to sit there and do it. We could just get it done and we could get it done quite quickly. We could spend our spare time doing whatever we wanted to do. If we had spare time at the end of the lesson, we could spend this doing what we wanted. When I became a teenager, I was much more motivated to do my homework. I was sometimes spending 10 hours a day on my homework. And what this meant was that I was able to do my year 10 in about five months and my year 11 in about six months. My year 11 work for me included doing one year 12 subject. So we got an awful lot done in that year. What this meant was I was able to start my tertiary education studies a lot earlier than a lot of school children were able to. My study habits and the study habits of my brothers were obviously effective. I was able to attend medical school. I didn't finish that, but I was able to get to a level of education high enough to be able to do that. My brother became an architect and he's now studying a degree of divinity to become a pastor. And my younger brother is a lawyer and so he's got very good study habits. But I wondered if my experience was universal. Did all children do two hours a day on their homework or did they do more? Was it universal? After asking a few people, I found that that wasn't a case. Even though the average is two to three hours of homeschool hours done, uh, there is a very, very large range and it depends what people would include in that. Do you include reading time? Do you include sports time? That sort of thing. I met some homeschoolers who perhaps only did one hour of work a day and I met another, probably only one other family who would do eight hours of homework a day and they were very well learned but I did find out that that family did feel that this was uh, perhaps a little bit too much and they got quite sick of their studies. Because this is such a prevalent question, I decided to ask a whole bunch of Christian mums and I got over a hundred responses to this. From the responses, I found that the average time studied is about two to three hours. 2% studied for less than an hour, 7% studied for one to two hours, 54% studied for two to three hours, 9% studied for three to four hours, 15% studied for four to five hours, and 7% studied for five hours or more. Now, obviously the younger children would be in the earlier 
time frames and the older children perhaps doing HSC like I was, I was doing 10 plus hours a day sometimes, would be the people who are doing the 7% who study for five plus hours. The other thing that will really determine how long children spend studying is the parents. So if the parents are really academic, if they love reading and they want their children to love reading and spend lots of time, or perhaps if they're perhaps a little bit of a tiger mom, they will expect a lot more of their children. And then vice versa, if you have a mother who is very, very relaxed and is just happy for her children to do whatever their interest leads them to do, then they would perhaps be studying less formal hours. From my survey, I found that first to third graders do around two hours of study a day. From the research I've read, it's really, really good to keep your homeschool hours very, very low, the younger children are. There's a case for not doing any book work at all until they're around the age of seven. And this is because they don't burn out early. I was talking to a kindergarten teacher last week and she said that a lot of the children of teachers who come into her classroom can read but they're incredibly burnt out so they don't want to do much more. She said it's much much better to hold off until a little bit later till the age of six perhaps seven and then teach them because then they'll be enthusiastic and they'll be able to do the material a lot quicker than they were able to do it at younger ages anyway. From the survey, I found that fourth to sixth graders usually do around three to four hours of formal work a day. This correlates to about ages eight to 11. Seventh to ninth graders around about the ages of 11 to 14 would do around four, maybe five hours a day. And then your 10th to 12th graders are going to be doing a lot more. They're going to be doing roughly seven hours a day. A lot of high school students might have a part-time job, so they might not be studying every day. So they might be doing a 10 hour day when they are studying and then working part-time and perhaps doing a few hours in the afternoon. Many home educators like to limit the hours their children do at a paid job. So then they will then have time to work on their formal study. Another thing that will determine the study hours your children will be doing is the curriculum you get. If you, for example, get a classical curriculum, that will be a lot more of a time commitment than perhaps say a Charlotte Mason education curriculum might be. If you have an eclectic curriculum, you don't know what the hours would be. The same with an unschooling curriculum or a program or uh, what unschoolers do. So can you homeschool for two hours a day? I think you can, but obviously this very much depends on the age of the children. If you were going to say, can you do two hours average a day for the whole of your homeschool years? Yes, I think that's possible. Another of the reasons I think this is possible is because I've seen children who perhaps have um, less of an education go to university and they just catch up very, very quickly. Sure, it's great to have a bit of a mathematical background that you've done in school, but children can very, very quickly catch up. One of the examples that made me think, wow, do we really need to be learning all of this? Was when I went to medical school. So medical science is the degree you might do before you go to medical school. It's supposed to give you a good grounding basis. But in my class, there was a lot of people, perhaps maybe half who had done medical science or pre-med, and then the other half had done arts courses. And what they found at the end of the year, we found that the arts students knew just as much as the pre-med students had. And so they'd been able to catch up. Now, this sort of catching up ability, if you like, uh, is present when you're around 20 to 30 years old and you can do that very, very quickly. And children can do it even more quickly. They're amazingly quick at learning. And so, yeah, just remember to keep in mind that you don't have to do everything because children can learn it later if they need it. Sure, it's good to have that educational foundation, 
but remember that this is a bit of a safety blanket. Okay, you might be saying, well, these are just comments from different mothers. Do they really matter? Well, one researcher, Raymond Moore, he examined about 8,000 research articles and he said these words, no replicable evidence exists for rushing children into formal study at home or school before age eight or 10. Wow, so that's really interesting. And that should be able to perhaps give your mind a little bit of ease around this subject. I really hope you've enjoyed listening to this video. Please like, subscribe, comment. I'd love to hear how many hours perhaps you're doing at home with your children and if you think this is covering the work that you need to be doing adequately. Thanks for listening, bye.